what's up guys hold on i'm just gonna stick that right there for now this is nay back with another video i took my glasses off because i want y'all to know this is serious even though like you know i can see y'all now but if y'all are standing over there probably couldn't see i'm at the walmart and doing walmart orders we can get into that later that's really not important but i felt the need to come on here and just make a video so that y'all can see me and see what is about to happen because i honestly feel like there's about to be a really good drastic change about to happen for me and i don't know something told me to just make this video so i'm gonna do it so basically as i'm driving doo -doo 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 -doo, doing my walmart order it dawned upon me that men well like <laughs> just to give you all a little background of what made me like say like okay like what made the thought come into my head like you need to make this a youtube video because you don't know how many other girls and don't mind my lashes i have ripped a little bit of them off but you don't know how many girls are going to the, going through the same situation as you until you really like put it out there what you're going through so for me i was driving da -da 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 -da, and i started thinking like i've been thinking heavily on my ex i do not miss him i do not want him i i just i've been like i'm in therapy and it just made me think about everything that like all the trauma that i have and everything that's caused me to get to the moment where I'm at now. And obviously my ex played a part in some of the trauma that I experienced. And um, I was thinking about the time where his homeboy was like, oh yeah, like I spoke to him. He said like, you know, he's gonna consider getting back with you. And he said that he's gonna reach out soon and da da da, -da. He's telling me all these things about him. And I, obviously I was super happy this was last year. And... Uh, <laughs> this man had a girlfriend the whole time so not only did your homeboy play in my face but your homeboy but i was dumb enough to listen to your homeboy and so i was like i was like you know what guys really don't have no type of good motive to them now when i say guys i'm, I'm not gonna sit here and branch all men into one category because they love getting mad when i do that like oh i hate all men or all men this all men are not like that that's great that's cool if you know you're not like that, then this video shouldn't trigger you. But anyways, <laughs> um, that's a little toasty. But um, yeah, so that made me think like I really am so turned off by relationships, by dating, by talking, by sets. I don't want any part of it. I don't want to date. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to go out on a date with you. I don't want anything to do with you. And before y'all say, well, that's not fair. How are you going to judge the next man based off of what happened with a previous man? Had I judged the first two, I wouldn't have ended up with the trauma that, I'm, that I have. So I think it's safe to say that the next guy I do consider talking to, and I'm not saying that's anytime soon, because when I say I'm just focusing on myself, like I really think this is the time where I need to just say you know what men no you yes and so i i'm i'm not doing any of that oh i hate when i have a bubble in my throat i don't want to talk i don't want to do anything i don't want to date i don't want you in my space i don't want you in my face i don't want you in my dms i don't want nothing to do with men right now because the stuff that i see on the internet like i was literally seeing this post where um this guy dm this lady it was on facebook before i deleted everything and if my face looks a little swollen, I had a tooth pulled. So don't don't say nothing about that. But I saw this post on Facebook and this guy DM'd this lady and she like didn't respond to him. And he went off. He called her out of her name. He said how he didn't like black women, how black women were never going to be wifed up. Like he was saying all this stuff all because she ignored him. And he said that she had made a post talking about something and he thought it was about him so he went back in the inbox and started doing all of that and i was like this is exactly why i'm so afraid of men like i don't i don't talk to no men that come in my dms i'm sorry like i don't do that because why i i'm not talking to you so the fact and it was men in them comments pretty much saying like yeah he has every right to feel the way he feels and to call her out of her name and to threaten her and to do all this stuff like men are scary men are scary so i was like i don't really want no part in in nothing like my main goal in this lifetime is to be married to have a happy family to have an amazing husband who you know wouldn't mind me being a housewife hey you know what i'm saying like i don't want to if i'm gonna be having kids i'm not working okay i want to be home with my kids so 
when I look around at the men that, you know, I have to choose from, it's not looking great. It's not looking great at all. So I was like, you know what? Um, I think I'm gonna sit this one out. I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Um, and you know, I'm not saying that I'm gonna judge every guy as like, you know, being this, this really like horrible person, but I'm so turned off. Like I was talking to this one guy and he was like literally my dream type and he be not even he wasn't he was not my dream type he became my dream type because as i'm talking to him i was like um at first i i was like he, he's he's cute but he's not cute enough and so i still decided to talk to him because regardless of looks the man was funny and so i started talking to him duh, 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 and the more and more i talked to him the more and more i got to know him and his personality and just who he is as a person I was like, this man is cute. And I'm gonna continue to talk to him. Where's that man now? Fell off the face of the earth, went to Mars or Jupiter. I don't know. But um that man right there really um I never even met the man in person either. Never, we never, we never got the chance to meet in person. He kept saying, Oh, we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet. We didn't meet. So I don't know where he is. I sent him one last message. He hasn't texted me back. He hasn't sent me back. He followed me back on Instagram. So I don't know what that means, but I'm just kind of done. I'm turned off. That last experience turned me off so bad. I was like, how am I stuck on someone who I never even met? I've never even met this man. But yet I'm so wrapped on you and i'm and i and i don't want to talk to no other guy because i truly feel like me and you are gonna date so i was like uh-uh honey i can't go through that again so i was like i'm done i'm not doing this man i'm sorry but uh catch me when i'm 30 because it's given in my 20s i need to focus on myself and if i keep focusing on a man or trying to find a man or trying to get into a relationship I'm never going to be able to figure out who I am as a person. So, yes, I am in therapy. Um, I've been in therapy a couple times, but, like, the first therapist I had was okay. And then the second therapist I had was chef's kiss. Then she moved away. And oh, and then after that, um, I started doing, like, online therapy. And it wasn't that great. And now I have a new therapist. And... I really feel like this is gonna go well. So I'm really excited to see where this is going. Also, to all my friends that are watching this, if y'all do watch my videos, I don't know if y'all do, but I'm gonna start doing no November. Instead of no nut November, I'm doing no November. No, I'm not coming over. No, I'm busy, I'm, I'm prioritizing, I'm prioritizing, prioritizing myself. Why was that so hard to say? <laughs> um no i don't want to go party no i don't want to go to no bonfire no i don't want to drive down the street no i don't want to smoke no i don't want to drink no november no november november is all about me and focusing on me and my mental health and my finances and just being a better person for me and all the people around me and i honestly i have a really hard time saying no because i feel bad for saying no but also, when I don't say no, I'm also disregarding myself. So, if you're watching this, don't make no plans with me in November. Baby, we not doing nothing. Catch me in December. And I just really want to see how this is going to go. So, yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe. Send this to other girls that you feel like may be able to um benefit from this because i feel like everybody should have a no november like no i don't want to do that no and it's not no as in like a rude way like no i don't want to do that but no as in like i've been saying yes to so many things that sometimes i get triple booked and i have people looking at me like i'm crazy they'd be like oh like you said you were gonna hang out with me but now you're hanging out with them and it's like well i did tell them i was gonna hang out with them too forgetting that I said I was gonna hang out with you so I was like for November no the only thing that I will be participating in for November is Friendsgiving because Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving that's it but anything outside of that no because I need to I really need to to prior I've never took the time to just think about me I'm always thinking about everybody else and trying to make sure everybody else is happy when if everybody else is happy and you're not happy where does that leave you so, um, yeah, this was not supposed to be a 10-minute video, but 
here we are sitting at 10 minutes so make sure you like comment and subscribe there will be more videos coming but i just really needed to get that off my chest and hopefully you could benefit from it but i'm doing no november you should do no november too